Hello! Today we are playing Call of the Sea. I had previously played this game on stream a few months ago. I never really finished it. Gotten maybe a couple of hours in. But we're gonna start over. Alright, let's go. English subtitles on, yes. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful. The artwork in this game looks fantastic, to be honest. It looks fantastic. No, no. Those voices. Seaweed. Oh, that that was that was loud. It's beautiful reef here. Swimming looks excellent. Can we? Where am I? We are swimming with the deep ones. Yep. It's been a few months since I, I last played. Place. I've been here before. We don't really remember everything. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. Oh yeah, I remember this. Chess. Chess in the ocean. Does look really beautiful though. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. My old music box. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to. dreams again I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease if the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness I'll search for one myself you said and in that search it seems you lost yourself I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. Okay, we can move now. Well, that was beautiful. So, um... I'd always dreamed of traveling. It was not the same without you, Harry. Your prepaid number is 10355. Your name is Everhart Nora. Is reported on your steamship SSS Carmel. Expected to arrive at Papete Tahiti on November 1st, 1934, from San Francisco. Madison Lines Transportation Services. Oh, this is nice. Are we going to make our bed? I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was delightful. Hmm. I've never actually experienced that myself, to be honest. But I like that they have storage right here underneath. I always thought this was a new concept. Well, 
I thought this was a new concept and always think it. I thought this was a new concept looking at stores, storage uh, ideas or storage options in IKEA. This is fantastic. I I've never seen that before. It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. Yeah. It's a relief that I don't need it to walk anymore. Why, what happened to you? I don't remember that. I missed the sea so much when we moved to Denver. Mm. Beautiful dots everywhere. Like, you see all these bubbles floating in the air? I believe these are meant to be dust. Beautiful. Merveille du Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. Marveille de Mer du Sud. 1934. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. Art teacher. Oh, we're an art teacher. Okay, tab. I, I forgot about that. Curious things from my journey. Nora, remember this. 506. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Tab. November 1, 1934. I finally arrived in Tahiti. Finding information about Harry's expedition is turning out to be a tough row to hoe. I think I must have walked all over Pepete asking about them, but nobody seems to know anything. About that place, 74 miles east of Tahiti, some locals have mentioned an island, but they won't say anything else about it. It's like they think the place is cursed. I met an English sailor, Captain Hoggetson. He knew some of the crew members on the Lady Shannon, a whaler. Apparently, the ship took an American expedition to an island east of Tahiti. According to Hoggetson, Hoggetson, it's been months since he last saw the Lady Shannon or its crew. Like every good sailor, the captain is superstitious. Do you think I'm mad? I'm not going to risk the lives of my crew by going to that cursed island, he said. November 4, 1934. After three days of begging, I've managed to convince Captain Hoggetson to take me close to the island. Save your money, Mrs. Everhart. Leaving me alone will be the payment in will be payment enough. I think there's a sweet tender heart inside that grumpy old sailor. Okay, that's us. Captain Hoggetson and the crew. Who's that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Press from here. July 6, 1934. It's been a month since I received Henry's last letter. It was post postmarked San Francisco and mentioned that the answer to my illness might be found in, in the Pacific Ocean. I'm hoping his silence is only due to a delay in the Postal Service. July 14, 1934. Last night, I had another of my vivid dreams but this time something was different i saw a strange island looming in the distance in the heart of the island a huge stone obelisk rose up before a mist shrouded mountain i woke up drenched in sweat september 16 1934 i keep waking up to odd dreams in the middle of the night still no news from harry and it's been three months already damn this disease of mine my husband is missing, and I can barely walk for a couple of minutes without getting exhausted. Okay. Okay. Apart from skin, she's tired all the time, basically. October 10th, 1934. An enigmatic sentence written on a photo of my husband. An ancient stone relic that looks like a knife. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. All three were in a package I received yesterday, postmarked Tahiti. No sender. Find him, 74 nautical miles east of Otaheite. After leafing through a couple of history and geography books, I found that Otaheite was just the ancient name of Tahiti. Same place the package came from. What does all this mean? Anyway, my mind is made up. Even though I still feel woozy, I have to give it everything I've got. It won't be easy, but I'll find my husband, whatever it takes, even if it means going to the ends of the world. October 14th, 1934. Following Harry's trail, I caught a train to San Francisco. In the Madison building, I found out that on May 25th, 
Harry's, Harry bought six passages to Tahiti on the SS Carmel. Tahiti again. On a side note, I'm not sure if it's the fresh air or the sea breeze, but I feel much better. Tahiti. Oh, nice. November 1. Got a stamp. October 19th, 1934. First, I'll sail to Tahiti on an ocean liner. If I don't find Harry there, I'll have to find a ship that will take me to whatever is 74 nautical miles east of Tahiti. This isn't going to be easy or cheap either. October 23rd, 1934. I missed the sea so much after Harry and I moved to Denver. I love to sit on the deck and watch the moonlight playing on the water. It's so comforting. And this is the same thing on the desk. All right, we read this and we're done. An apple? My gloves? Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. Or contagious. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Number 20, no, number 200, Englewood, October 10, 934. Package, Nora Everhart, Pepete Tahiti, one package delivered. Wait, is there something on the back maybe? What? Nothing. love this song. Yeah, we turned off the music. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Oh. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. It's here. 506. There we go. All right, now it's open. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. Mm, calling your husband dear old pal. Some of us have hidden information. Rotate to find it. Oh wait. A brass key with the letters C W engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions. Ninety-four miles east of Te Otahete. Otahete. This. Strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. Hmm. Okay. We're all set, madam. Remote boat is ready. All right, roll boat. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Um, it's it's a vacation. You you want to dress something differently every day? Actually, I am curious about that. What was laundry like back in this time when you traveled with only this many things to wear? How do you? Hmm. I think I've overpacked. How do you manage? Is, is, uh -huh. Captain Hodgson has a very particular taste when it comes to decor. Okay. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. All alone again. Boat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lad. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. 
Wow. Chapter 1. 74 miles east of well, Otehe Day. Here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This... this can't be a coincidence. Call of the sea. Oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Forgot about that. Look at that. Wow. Breathtaking, idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. See if I can find any trace of you around here. Let's check if we can move with this. <gasps> we can. All right, we're using controls. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So vibrant. So somebody was on this island recently. Look, it's a boat. A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. Va'a. Oh. Well, that's a vivo, a flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. With I their nose. Wow. Okay. So what would be in these things? Any information on that, maybe? Oh. A note written in French. I only understand two words. Il and Malt. Island and death. don't know what that says it must be a warning about the dangers of the island okay we noticed this something was dragged to the sea and by the looks of these marks it was heavy we got spikes here Oh, a conch. Conch? Conch? I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. Conch? Conch? Alright, so that door, if I remember correctly, is closed. Can I run? I, I, I don't think I can Looks yet. Looks like it opens from the other side. Right. It's 
beautiful. I would really love to stay in places like this. It looks, it feels so nice. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Okay, so... Markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. What would... Oh, yeah. Why? Okay. Alright. How do we... Uh, why? Let's see. Oh, change pages. Oh, nice. Okay. November 6, 1934, I arrived on the mysterious island 74 miles east of Tahiti. The fishermen will be back to pick me up again in three days. I hope that's enough time to find you, dear old pal. Wait, can we see... Okay, there we go. Nice. Alright, let's... Let's go. So there are these shell offerings. Let's go up here. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. I'm sure there's a prompt about these spikes somewhere. She should be able to explain why there are spikes everywhere. Maybe. Oh, there. Do they want to prevent foreigners from reaching this shore? That's a hard yes. Can I check the boat too? Oh, there. I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. Okay. I would camp right here, to be honest. And, uh, just... set myself up so I could easily be found and leave. Hey, there's another thing here. A bone fish hook. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, oh, here's another one. An offering of Mother of Pearl. Quite valuable for the Polynesians. Like a necklace of pearls, please. Um, mother of pearl. It looks beautiful. Look pistol, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. Oh. What a lovely flower offering. That's beautiful. So we we should be expecting natives here. Um, I'm assuming we will find locals here. This box, C W. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. Take the knife first. A carving tool. We'll take it. Maybe? No? Okay, so... Uh... This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. Yes. 
Let's check the journal. That's strange. Polynesians don't use doors. Much less mechanisms to protect a door. If I want to reach the inner island, I've got to open it. Nora, dear, this is no ordinary island. I needed the key I received in the mysterious package to enter the island. What does this mean? You were invited, I'm assuming. That's what it means. Okay, here are more. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Hmm, something's missing here. Oh yeah. This piece is missing. Alright, where would that piece be now? Hmm. What a lovely flower offering. Here? Aha. Well, look what's hidden here. Would it be better with a keyboard or with the controller? Let's find out. It might be better with this the keyboard, be to be the honest. This may the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most Ooh, thrilling thing. Butterfly! Aww. Are they here? Things? Is that... Harry? Harry, you were here. You were here and I found you, damn it. Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. What's the name of the ship? All right, so it says six people. Fragile instruments, several boxes with equipment. Weapons and explosives. Supplies for eight weeks. Wait, can I read that? Yep. Lady Shannon. All right. Oh, can we check the back? Or the pet pepete. Right. Can we take it? No, we don't. We don't need to. Oh wait, check our journal. Harry was on this island. I hope he's still here. I found a photo with all the expedition members and I think of, I vaguely recognize some of them from the letters he sent me. But where did they go? Did they set up camp somewhere? Alright. Ah, yes. A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. A puzzle. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harley and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. What a Polynesian version. Okay. Hang on. We need to get a cipher somewhere first. Mm, those weights look it's like been bodies. Years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. Beautiful, beautiful. So much beauty everywhere. Let's go here and see if there's something. I feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Okay, here's one. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Uh, I found. I need the key to I, I received in the spirit space and so then blah, blah, blah. Found the missing piece to open the door. Open the entrance to a mangrove swamp in your island. I'm cut off from cut off from the heart of the island by a strange mechanical bridge over a river. Someone went to a lot of trouble to keep people away from this place. Okay. Sun, that's what it means. 
All right, we need to find the others. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. Oh. Oh my, this is so beautiful. Ah, oh, gorgeous. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. This one. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this uni. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. That one is bird. Okay. Uh, let's check here. This is where the door is. Open it now. That's convenient. So we can go back. Excellent. I don't think these other ones have anything. Can we go up? I forget. Oh, we can? Do we need to? Oh, look, it's so beautiful. I would love to live here. I would be an island, an I I islander. Mm, another mother of pearl offering there. Okay, I think that's it, and I have to just look for the other. I think we might need five. So we got two. Up here. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. Fish. Okay. That's cool though. Eat fish every day. I would so love that. Okay, we went that way, I think. Or yeah, we already went that way. Let's see, how many more can we find? Um, best also check what's required. Make sure that these are the right, the right symbol. Would there be a symbol thing here somewhere? Can I get to the other side? Maybe, let's see. Oh, actually, it's just three symbols. So what would be the sequence here? So we've got sun, ah, wait, sun, birds, mountain, water, fish. I don't actually have that. Wait, wait, there might be one here somewhere that looks up at this mountain and one that looks at the river. Anywhere, anywhere, let's see. Ah, here. Of course. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. Hmm. Fascinating. Mountain? Okay. We got the water. Actually, we got it all. Alright, let's see. So, it should be... We'll do it in the order... ...of that puzzle and see if that works. In the order of this picture. So, sun first. Uh, I'm assuming it has to be placed here. So, what is the sun? This one. Uh, wait. Let's go back and look at the... Sun first, then birds, then mountain. Birds is... Ryan, uh, this one, mountain is that one, and then, let's just reconfirm, it is water, and then fish. Water, and then fish is this symbol. Well, I guess I hit the jackpot. Lovely. That's my ticket across the river, then. 
Definitely get excited. I've been walking. I've lost track of the time. Chapter 2. The Everhart Expedition. Alright. Let's go. Wow, Hello? What is this place? Ooh. I'd better have a look around this abandoned village. Harry's crew might have stayed here. Oh, I never looked up before. Oh, this is beautiful. I love how the colors change when you go through it. This enormous stone slab looks like a mechanism to get up to the outcrop. Hmm. Another puzzle? Hmm, something missing here. Yeah, peace. Elevator, I think. A tiki. Like something straight out of an adventure novel. Nice. It's some sort of Polynesian coat of arms. Is that an octopus? An octopus? Yes. The Everhard Expedition. They set up camp here. Hmm. I'd be surprised if it wasn't the Everhart expedition. <laughs> There's no sign of any other camp, honestly, like any other party coming in. There's another thing. Could these tiki's be some sort of guardians. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh hmm. something's missing inside that emblem. Okay, emblem missing. Polynesian man covered in tattoos. I'm not sure if he looks angry or scared. Well, what well? The guy doesn't want to be near the ruins. Why is he so afraid of that well? Okay, there's a well. So now you believe in magic, old pal? He gave one of these amulets to each of us. Only Harry kept his. Okay. Mother of Pearl Amulets. Who was sleeping here? Looks like some of the crew members didn't get along too well. A forbidden ritual? He's warning us about those ruins. He says that some sort of forbidden ritual took place here. Fascinating. I think here's the here's what we need to get this this ring. These ancient geometric stone structures are not Polynesian. What purpose did they serve? Fascinating indeed. Let me record it. So, you said you've been on this island before. Yes. Some years ago. I made a rookie mistake. I did it from my fishing route to go to what looked like a better spot. Less than an hour had gone. I went suddenly. My va'a. My canoe overturned. And I got this lovely souvenir from that mistake. Heavens, what gave you that scar? It's not a what, but a who. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at it. But it seemed like a sea creature I never seen. Anyway, I was lucky enough to reach that Whiteson beach. The one where we landed on the island. A man came three days later and got me out of there. He brought me to the port of Papete without speaking a single word. Time passed and I promised myself that I would go on with my life and forget about this damn island. Why did you agree to return to the island then? 
I need to know what happened to me, to discover the truth. I don't know if you get me. Absolutely. Who is speaking? Now well, let's got notes. The path through the jungle led to an abandoned campsite set up in the remains of an old village. Could this be where Harry's expedition stopped? Harry had to intervene in an argument between the islander and a member of his crew. The Polynesian man seems to be afraid of the rituals that took place in those in those ruins. I figured out the symbols that were needed to open the bridge. The sun, birds on a mountain, the sea and fish. Now it's time to cross the bridge and venture deep into the island. Okay, these are the notes. Hmm. Is there another one? Let me record it. No. So, you said you've been on this island before. Let's go here first. I think this goes up. Yeah. Wait, no, no, no. Let's not go up yet. Let's not go up yet. Let's explore around here and then leave. Okay, next section. Ooh. This is where he stayed. An amulet with a carved Marquesian cross. The symbol represents balance and protection. We need to take that, don't we? Look at this little fellow. Hmm. Why is this hammock so far from the rest of the campsite? We already know. That's where the guide stayed. I would have liked it if they changed the dialogue after or before looking at the... Ooh, beautiful butterfly. So beautiful. Okay, um, we looked at those two. Let's, let's look at this one. They're composed of four pieces. There it is. I'm sure we need that for something later. Blowing an ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. Ancient hatch, explosives here, detonator, 9.5 feet safety distance. Ooh. Looks like someone didn't like you very much, Harry. Blah, blah, I'm so clever. <laughs> this fella sounds pretty hot headed. July 14th, 1934. I came to this godforsaken island for just a few days and it's been almost two weeks already of doing nothing is this rich jerk going to open that hatch anytime soon i'm not going to wait for mr know-it-all again like i did with the elevator he'd better let me handle the situation we brought dynamite for a reason Oof. Ooh. i've never cared much for games of chance dice oh they're pretty dice too i want these oh i want these oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna order I'm gonna order like dice that look like these. Oh, they're so cool. Okay. I'm not sure what to expect on this island, but I hope I won't regret not having a gun. Uh, yeah, you're gonna regret it. 100%. 100%. Is that, what does it say there? Something peas? Okay, there's more, more stuff. Nice comb. He. Who worries this much about their appearance in a place like this? A vain man. That's pretty nice, though. Have your stuff set up like that. Razors. And we still, I still use razors like that. His real name was Costas. United States United States of America Department of State passport Costas Apostolu 
5844W Manchester Avenue, Los Angeles, California. Case of death or accident notify Athanasios Apostolou. <laughs> Looks like this fellow was a real heartbreaker. Oof. Quite a looker. A fashion model, maybe. To Roy, the best stuntman in Hollywood. Very neat. Hmm. Probably doesn't like things done any other way. Ooh, a rifle. The Winchester, 12 gauge M12. Nice. They were packing a lot of heat when they came to this island, but they took all the guns with them. Yep. Mm, corn. Okay. Well, I think we looked at everything over here. Let's go to the next hut. Oh, wait. We, do we check up here? It's broken, but I might as well draw what I can see of it in my journal. Uh. No idea. We were looking at three huts. We found three clues. Uh, let's go to the other here, I think. No, 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 no. Over here? Yes. Oh, damn it. Someone on the expedition died. Oh, okay. What a delicate piece of craftsmanship. Something's missing here. Hmm. He seems confused, as if he was having a hard time writing this down. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the medical tent up on the flat outcrop. After what happened, I'd better find out more about that well. About the well, Dr. D. Witt. Okay, let's read the cursive. Um, I can see here the explosion. After the explosion, about the well, I noted. Hmm. Farewell message from a friend. Roy and Frank. I guess we'll have to finish our game in the afterlife. In the afterlife. Rest in peace, Pally. Who is this? Roy. I never thought that this expedition would cause anybody's death. Oh, I'm sure Harry never thought so either. Roy Granger. If this was going to happen, he'd never have come here. And here's Explosives. a diamond. Dynamite. It's dangerous. Did they use all the dynamite? Hmm, probably. Okay. So we got four and a couple of pieces. Well, let's go up. I hadn't been close to a grave since my mother's burial. Shortly after she died, my Lovely Dalmatian spots, as Harry used to call them, appeared. Uh, I thought it was will... nothing at first. We came from there. We have to go here. Okay, so her illness happened after her mother died, or revealed itself. Triggered, maybe? Is that the word? Okay. Oh, I must have found the luxury huts. Pretty swanky. Swanky. Hey, ah, uh, here. And it's been ripped out of something else. I've seen Harry keep even restaurant checks for bookkeeping. He would never tear up a piece of valuable information. Okay, we can solve this. I think. Mm. 
Yes, this one. I think this is a shark. Yep. Octopus. Uh, Got it. Nice. There we go. That's that's the order. Okay, can we? Well, can we read what it says? Different sea creatures connection with. Kiki, other of the symbols, order of the symbols important, family symbols, symbols, order important, what is the connection with this, each sea key? They seem to represent sea creatures, okay. We got that one. Look at him, giddy as a schoolboy. Icor? Black Icor, ooze. It's Icor again? Um, let's look at that before we object here. Ancient mechanism. Okay, so uh, two pieces needed. That Frank seems to feel guilty for whatever happened. I feel really bad for him. Mr. Everhart, I still understand what happened. Roy knew just as well as you and me that the Black Ooze was highly volatile. I should never have believed him when he said he had your permission. I feel responsible for what happened, Frank. Oh, okay. More drawings. And okay, it goes up. Elevator. Considering how poorly Harry draws, this isn't half bad. Okay, so this is a map of where we are. Do we have this recorded in our journal, maybe? Okay, there's stuff here. The path through the jungle led to an abandoned camp site set up in the remains of an old village. Could this be where Harry's expedition stopped? Harry had to intervene in an argument between the islander and member of his crew. The Polynesian man seems to be afraid of the rituals that took place in, these ru in those ruins. Roy Granger, a member of Harry's expedition, died. There was a plan behind Harry's back to blow up ancient door with dynamite. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Nothing? Okay, fine. So, the ruins is up here. It means from older civilization. There is a ship yard. So... Hmm. Related to disease? Yes, maybe. Ooh, something here. What mess did you get into, Harry? Mr. Everhart, we deeply regret your refusal to accept our funding for your expedition. We have always had an excellent relationship with your family, and we really consider this venture a unique and profitable opportunity for both parties. We wish you the best of luck on your journey. You surely are going to need it. Yours sincerely. Caleb Bowen, the Starry Wisdom Society. Hmm, an ancient society. Okay, so these are the tiki's, the pictures of the tiki's we have in our notes. Let's see. So, what what we got first? Let's start with this. The parts of the tiki on this column seem movable. What was it? Houses. This one. Uh, angry ha head, angry face with house. And then... This one. And then hands down. Did that do anything? Are we supposed to take this, by the way? No. Well, we don't know why we need to move that yet. Let's you let's look here. Quite an expedition, Harry, and all just for little old me. Let's go here first. Ooh, black, black ooze. ooze in a telescope. We can look at things. Okay. The this Harry of a heart I know would never have given up on this. Something must have happened that kept him from solving it. 
It's so frustrating. I know I'm close, but I can't find the right combination. Okay. Other planes of existence. That's bats. That's bats. Telling has his spectacles. Spectacles lens aligner. After a significant, after a specific alignment, this device concentrates the resonance wave spectrum in an optical impression. Observing the lenses will affect the subject's pineal gland, allowing them to gaze into other planes of reality. Outside the spectrum, we consider our dimension. All rights reserved. Crawford telling us. Telling us. Oh no. Where did you get this strange device, Harry? Hmm. I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works, or what to do with it. Hmm. Not I'm yet. I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works, or what to do with it. Not yet, anyway. My dear old pal, I know you won't ever read this letter. I'm accustomed to writing you, and it comforts me in this strange place. This island is riddled with secrets. So many secrets. But I'm not only talking about mechanisms and contraptions, Nora. I dare say that something on the island clouds one's judgment. Otherwise, I don't have an explanation for Roy's actions. The man was arrogant. Impulsive and a little cocky, but he was no fool. We weren't friends by any means, but he didn't deserve what happened to him. Nobody deserves that. We may have made some progress in finding the cure for your illness, but at what price? I miss you so much, Nora. Harry. He may not say it explicitly, but Harry blames himself for Roy's death. I know him too well. And I miss you too, Harry. Roy was the ladies' man? Oh. Okay. Jeepers! A stranded ship! Hmm, we should probably go check that place out. Something's missing here. And we need to put something there. Okay. This explains why the campsite is nearly abandoned. Tell the others to pack up as fast as they can. We have to get to the Black and Sand Beach. If something's happened to the ship, bring only what's indispensable. Wait, can we see the back? Okay. Uh, no mention of the tiki puzzle yet. Honestly, don't remember the order. Oh, I think it opens this back door. There's a back door here. Has to be something that hints that what it what's needed oh and there's something hmm oh the order is important hmm okay hang on whose house is the turtle we need to make a note oh well harry's house is a turtle but does he have a thing here no he does not actually what the hell am i saying Wait. Oh, could it be like this? But then... Mm. Who had what? I actually don't remember. I kind of feel like there is... 
a note somewhere that can tell me. Okay, there's another bridge there. Harry hated asking his parents for money to fund this expedition. The Everharts are a wealthy Boston family, quite old fashioned. They were never really pleased with his eldest marrying a middle class girl. That's why he wanted to get away from them as soon as he could, just like his siblings did after him. Okay. Order. Actually, can we see if we can click on this again? Hmm, something's missing inside that emblem. Um, uh, maybe that one is the... Turtle? And this one is this. Okay, so that corresponds to that. Let's just look at this real quick and just double check. The folding hands guy, this one, corresponds to the octopus, okay. So, which means... The... This one is... The... What is that? Stingray? Okay, so it's corresponding. Okay, so... Maybe it's order... It's it's four, it's four pieces, right? One, two, three, four. So maybe this is the... Okay, maybe that's the answer. Let's find out. A little bit of a lag there. Okay. So, first thing is turtle. So, turtles up here is already done. Next thing is shark. That should be this one. So, eyes should be... Mm, that one? Okay, stingray, which is this one, mm, tongue sticking out, that one, and then octopus, which is this one. Ah! Secret compartment. 